What's cooking everybody? Dave Mays here with Kino Tika and this video is sponsored by Peak Design. Now you might be familiar with Peak Design because they've made some of the most popular backpacks on YouTube with their everyday backpack. And a couple months ago they released a Kickstarter for a travel tripod. Well, I got my travel tripod and it was actually stolen from me when I had all the robberies happen here. And so Peak Design reached out to me and they said they wanted to sponsor a video and send me a carbon fiber version of the travel tripod, which for me is an upgrade. I had the aluminum version, but both are just as incredible. However, this one is a little bit lighter than the aluminum now it's actually finally official the travel tripod is shipping today worldwide and there's an incredible deal going on right now if you click the first link in the description below all of the profits of this tripod sell over the next four days starting now april 7th go towards COVID-19 relief and combating climate change. This one here is the carbon fiber version, which comes in a bit lighter than the aluminum. However, I have held both and uh, I own both. You know, I had the aluminum before it got stolen. And the carbon fiber one, you know that you want it if you want it because it is a little bit lighter and you can definitely tell when it's in your bag that it is lighter indeed. But both are very portable. Both are very lightweight. The aluminum and the carbon fiber, you really can't go wrong with either one. But if you know that you need the lightest of all time, then you're gonna have to go with the carbon fiber because it is slightly lighter. By the way, since all my main cameras got stolen recently, I only have one working camera for shooting my videos, and it's actually filming me right now, the Olympus camera. So I'm actually using this broken Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera as a prop. Remember this thing? I actually broke this years ago on a shoot, and I've just held on to it because I didn't want to throw it away. Comment below if you want to see a review of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera original. Maybe I'll pick up a used one and do a video on that. Number one, mobile phone mount. If you aren't aware, one of the most useful features of this little travel tripod is this little hidden phone mount thing on the bottom of the tripod. Now what's really cool about this little phone mount is it actually has a quick release plate built into it so you don't have to actually use the quick release that comes with the tripod. It's really clever, it uses just friction and this little spring function here to clamp your phone together. I've done it with my phone that doesn't have a case on it and it does kind of slip around a little bit. Um, so if you have a rubber case on it or any type of case really, it'll probably grip on there better than just using a naked phone, but you know, I digress. I like things naked, so. Number two, water bottle size. This tripod did something so clever with its design. Instead of making the legs little sticks or poles or worse, cube-sized sharp edge metal rails, they designed the legs to have a curvature around it, making it super comfortable to hold, but also making it possible to just slip into any backpack, water bottle sleeve, or heck, even your cup holders in your car. Plus, it's kind of good girth to it. You know, you could really use it as a weapon if you had to. Number three, selfie stick with one-handed manipulation. This is so cool, watch this. You just take this little middle stick out and now this tripod went from a tripod to a selfie stick, making it so perfect for vloggers who just need that little extra extension for your shot. You also get one-handed operation with this thing. With one hand, you're able to unlock the ball head, move it into the position that you want, and then lock it down using that same hand. You're not ever having to take your hand off of the bottom of the selfie stick. It's just a really clever invention here. And if you keep the ball head slightly loose here, you can actually just manipulate it and have a little bit of friction going on there. And if you really want it to be solid, you just squeeze it down a little bit more and then it's not going anywhere. Number four is more of a hack and not a tip necessarily. You can use this tripod to create a whip transition effect. Because the mount on this thing is able to do such a hard right angle, you can point your camera straight up. Once you do this, you need to find the center of gravity by extending the legs and balancing the tripod. Once you find that center of gravity, you can do a little spin with it after you take one shot, then spin into another shot, giving you the ability to make a really sick whip transition effect in camera and not rely on post-production to fake this type of effect. Number five, fluid head operation. Now, as you can see with this tripod straight out of the box, you have a lot of flexibility with the head on it already. You can pretty much go into any angle, including portrait mode like this. But if you're a video shooter and you're used to having a fluid head for smooth transitions and tripod moves, then you're in luck because there actually is a solution. 
The first solution is from Peak Design themselves. They've designed a tripod head mount that allows you to screw on any third party fluid head that you would like. The only problem with this accessory is you lose the ability to level the tripod head with the ball head. So that leads me to option number two. First, get whatever fluid head you want to use, then mount either the tripod mount that came with the Peak Design travel tripod or use a heavy duty plate like this one from Kessler, which does require you to remove the, those lugs on the side of the tripod, by the way. Those are used to just prevent the small plate from sliding side to side. Then boom, you now have a quick releasable fluid head for those sexy camera pants. Early 2000s Philip Bloom would be so proud. Number six, the built-in tools. You got built-in tools on this thing. So you can not only screw your camera plate in using this Allen wrench tool, but you can also adjust every point of this tripod using both of these Allen keys. They're both mounted to each other, so you'll never lose one of them. You'll only ever lose both of them or none of them. I say just keep it in the little side here every time you're done using it and you'll never lose it because it stays pretty locked in there on this little sleeve. Number seven, accessory mount. Using this little thing, you can actually mount any accessory you want to the tripod. I'll link it down below because this thing actually can work. I have my microphone mounted on here. You can use a light, a monitor, anything really can be mounted to this and really creativity is your only limit. But this little mount is so perfect to go on the little middle stick because check this out. This accessory has a nice little rubber divot that is at like a little angle here, like a little triangle. It's the perfect accessory for this tripod. It was like it was designed for it or something, but it's definitely not. In addition to it literally notching in perfectly with this thing, it's got rubber gaskets on it and like rubber protectors. So you're not gonna scratch up the metal. But with the little rubber protectors, you're able to mount anything on there without damaging the little middle stick thing. Really clever, really cool little setup there that I came up with that made me sound kind of cocky, but that's not what I was going for, but it is kind of clever, right? Number eight, Arca Swiss, baby. Lots of tripods out there use their own proprietary standard for quick releases. Now Peak Design does include a really nice compact quick release plate, but you can truly use any camera mount, lighting mount, whatever works with the Arca Swiss standard with this tripod, which is great. And even the Metabone Speed Boosters have a little Arca Swiss bottom mounting foot. So versatile, I love Arca Swiss. I'm glad they chose that as their mount. Number nine, wide leg mode. A lot of people overlook this feature on tripods and it's a feature that I use often. This tripod has a great payload of 20 pounds, but because this tripod is so small, it can sometimes feel a bit wobbly if you have a bigger rig on it. That is where using the wide leg mode can really help out. Just push these little buttons and the legs expand. Widen those legs if you need that extra stability and the camera will stay rock solid. This feature also comes in handy when you're on uneven surfaces and you need to put the tripod in weird spots or if you want to set your camera at the lowest possible angle to the ground. And lastly, number 10, one-handed leg release. This is the main party trick of this thing, and it's probably the thing that makes it stand out from almost all other tripods. By using only one hand, you are able to deploy an entire tripod leg, saving you some serious setup time. I love this, and it's truly one of the coolest things about this tripod. This feature kind of reminds me of back when gimbals were brand new, and it was kind of like everybody that had a gimbal would just kind of like do this thing with it and like, show the camera just floating and like moving the thing around. It was just such a party trick and completely ridiculous. Uh, this is a party trick and every time I see a photographer or a filmmaker and they haven't seen this, I do that and that's the most kind of wow factor about this tripod. But unlike the gimbal uh, wow factor, this actually has some practicality to it. During these crazy times, there are some things Peak Design can do to make an impact and they are doing that. Not only are they staying open and trying their best to keep their employees and contractors like myself gainfully employed, but they have decided to donate the money that they make off of the travel tripod to those who are working it to solve the problems associated with 
COVID-19 and combating climate change. For four days, Tuesday, April 7th through Friday, April 10th, all profits from every single Peak Design Travel Tripod will be donated to support COVID-19 relief and combating climate change. So click the first link in the description below to help support COVID-19 relief by buying this incredible tripod. It'll make you feel so good knowing that your money is going towards something important. All in all, this tripod seriously kicks butt. I love it. I use the one that got stolen all the time. And even though I am a video shooter, I found it to replace my main video tripod most of the time due to its convenience, form factor, and incredibly thought out ergonomics and features, even without the fluid head option. However, I think I'm gonna start using the fluid head because I really like the setup. Even though it adds a little bit more weight to it, having a fluid head is important to me as a video shooter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Are you gonna pick one up? Have you already picked one up? Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments. We'll have a conversation about it. Also, if you haven't seen my previous parody video that I posted a couple days ago, you should definitely check it out. I'll link it down below as well as put it in the in titles right now and i would love it if you guys watched that and left a comment on that video as well again i'd like to thank peak design for sponsoring this video for sending me this incredible tripod it means a lot to me that i have another one because the other one was stolen so it's wonderful to have another one again and i will i will caress it and take good care of it so thanks again peak design for, for sponsoring kino tika and for sponsoring this video once again, I'm Dave Mays, this is Kino Tika, and we'll see you next time.